I want to speak to you if you've ever looked at someone else and thought, I wish I was gifted like that person. If you've ever thought, if only I was that talented. I'd like to read the parable of the talents to you. Matthew chapter 25 verse 14 to 29 says, For it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted to them his property. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. He who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them, and he made five talents more. So also he who had the two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. Now after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you have delivered to me five talents. Here, I have made five talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. And he also, who had the two talents, came forward, saying, Master, you delivered to me two talents. Here, I have made two talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. He also, who had received the one talent, came forward, saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you scattered no seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here, you have what is yours. But his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown, and gather where I scattered no seed. Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and at my coming I should have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him, and give it to him who has the ten talents. For to everyone who has will more be given, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I want to encourage you and remind you that God has entrusted you with a gift. He's entrusted you with a talent. You are called to serve in the kingdom of God. So stop looking at others. Comparison is the thief of joy. Don't look at what others are doing or at what others have been given. Focus on doing the best for the Lord with what you have. There is treasure within you. I want you to commit to the Lord's tasks and harvest, knowing that Jesus Christ will reward your due diligence. If you're called to encourage others, do it with all your heart. If you can sing, sing for the glory of God. If you can support missionary work, do so with all your heart. Whatever you have been entrusted with, may you use that gift and talent to glorify the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, I pray for each and every person under the sound of my voice. I pray, Lord, that you would reveal the gifts and talents that you have planted within them. Reveal the treasure that is inside every man, woman, boy or girl listening. Give them a heart that seeks to use their gifts for your glory. Help us, Lord Jesus, so that we may not be procrastinators and put off working for your kingdom. 
Let us not be lazy or take the gifts you have entrusted us with casually. Give us a sense of urgency so that we may work and invest in the kingdom of heaven instead of this earth. Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 to 25, Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ, for the wrongdoer will be paid back for the wrong he has done, and there is no partiality. Lord, whatever our task may be in the body of Christ, whatever our role may be in the kingdom, may the Holy Spirit help us to be diligent workers when it comes to the things of God. Help us to put forward our very best effort when it comes to glorifying your name. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3 says, Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. Lord Jesus, we commit the works of our hands to you, Father. All that we do may be pleasing to you. May all of our plans and ambitions begin and end with your name being glorified and uplifted. In all of our endeavors, in all that we place our effort in, may you not only anoint our hands, but lead us, guide us, so that we can be servants that are effective and impactful in this world, all for your glory, Lord Jesus. And Lord, I pray for each and every person who is listening and may be wondering, what is their gift? What is their calling? May the Holy Spirit reveal their gift to them. Your word in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7 to 10 says, To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. For to one is given the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another, the utterance of knowledge, according to the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the one Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, the ability to distinguish between Spirits. To another, various kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. Help us, Holy Spirit, to identify the gift and calling that is on our life. Help us to flourish with humility as we use these gifts for the glory of the kingdom of God. Lord Jesus, we give you glory, praise, and honor. In all that we do, may your name be lifted up. There is no good thing that comes without you, Jesus. And so we praise you for being merciful, kind, and loving. I thank you for listening to this prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.